Oh my god! Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J. Today we're jumping into Power Blade. In 2191, Earth's blissful existence was governed by a powerful master computer. Until explosions happened, the master computer was not so pleasant after all. One day, something went wrong with the master control program. Chaos ensued as people panicked. Nova was summoned. Nova, of course, being the Arnold Schwarzenegger lookalike. Look at that. Look at that. I am astonished at how many characters over the 80s and 90s, you know, all the way up to and including Duke Nukem 3D are just Arnold Schwarzenegger ripoffs. It's, it's hilariously awesome. That man was so influential in our culture that like every action hero for the next like 20 years was just copying Arnold. Um, fun fact, actually, by the way, I haven't, I, I sort of stopped paying attention to the story here, but maybe you were reading it and you got more out of it than me. I think the backstory is that Master Computer has been taken offline by aliens and we have to re retrieve data tapes to recover, uh, or restore the Master Computer. That's basically the backstory here. Um, Nova here. Um, now, fun fact, this game, the, the box for this game, the box cover, actually looked a lot like uh, Terminator 1. Here, I'll show it here uh, for a second so you guys can see. Yeah, look at that. It's it's kind of Terminator-ish. Not 100% a knockoff. But another fun fact about this game, um, the, the developers uh, were actually contacted by Arnold Schwarzenegger's lawyers. Uh, they sent him a letter about the art that they were using on the box cover for this game. And uh, the developer was actually able to show that he himself had a, had used a photograph of himself uh, as a reference for the painting. And then after that, uh, Arnold's lawyers kind of backed off. But uh, Arnold tried to sue a Nintendo game. Uh, that's kind of kind of interesting, actually. Anyway, Power Blade here, it's kind of a hidden gem, I would, I would call it, in terms of NES games. Because honestly... I've never heard of this game. I didn't know it existed. I'd never seen it in magazines or anything. Apparently, I, I might just be out of touch on this one because it wasn't like that unknown of a game. But it does kind of feel like a game that I had no idea existed. And it looks totally awesome from the gameplay that I've seen. So I'm really excited here today. So we got this Mega Man style stage select screen. And the idea is we can select one of any one of six sectors to uh, attack so let's go ahead and start in uh, sector one here and uh, get going so power blade here the whole gimmick is that it's all about a guy who throws boomerangs and notice i have a power meter in the top uh that power meter we can build up with power ups we can also get different kinds of boomerangs and all sorts of different things you can get power ups to let you throw multiple boomerangs so it's sort of like it's sort of like Mega Man uh, in that you can sort of do the stage select stuff. Oh, God. It's a bit... Uh, it kind of looks a bit like Contra to me, honestly, in terms of like this big machismo dude running around. And it's also a bit like uh, like Gra like Gradius um, in terms of you having a uh, character who collects power-ups. And when you die, you lose all those power-ups. So it's like you really want to like stay alive as long as you can to power up your, you know, your your boomerangs. I was gonna say your gun, but you don't have guns here, so. Um, yeah, I, I like the fact that it's like we just don't have a standard gun. Like, I like this sort of boomerang gimmick. It's kind of cool. You can throw the boomerang in different directions, um, and it sort of like, uh, you know, bobs and weaves around you, too. Um, I think we got a power-up that lets us throw multiple. No, not yet. Um, I think the power-ups, as far as I can tell, they're a little random. Oh, we, do have a, we did get a power. Uh, power up. Look at uh, how much farther we can throw our boomerang now, and our power meter is much bigger. Oh, there we go. There's the multi boomerang. Boom. So I think this is kind of interesting. If you throw your boomerangs too fast, notice the power meter isn't building up, so they're not going super far. But if I let it build up, then I think I can throw one boomerang farther. Or maybe I'm lying. I don't know. I guess they're going the same distance. I don't fully know how this game works. I'm just kind of figuring out as I go, guys. But uh, let's try and go over here. Whoa, I almost fell into the pit. I think this is an extra life or something. Oh, it's a football helmet. Wait, 
Wait, what? Oh, I've become a cyborg. All right, I guess I, I literally am a Terminator. Arnold's lawyers really missed out on a chance to sue some people here because this seems like a blatant uh, copyright infringement here. Yeah, he's a... Uh, He's, he's half human, half cyborg, throws boomerangs, blah, blah, blah. No, no infringement <laughs> meant, Arnie. Oh, God, there's a robot. What's this guy? Hello. Oh, he's waving at me. Okay. What do you want? Psst. You must be Nova. I'm your contact. Here, take this ID card for Sector 1. Good luck. All right. Did we just rescue a hostage or something? Um, hey, wait, what was that? Is that health? I don't know what that was. Oh god, get away from me. Oh, you can throw even when you're on the ladder. That's good to know. This is very Mega Man-y. Kind of cool, actually. I kind of miss the boomerangs, honestly. I feel like this metal suit, the weapon is more powerful, but it it kind of, you know, I, I like the boomerang. How you could sort of, uh, it, it sort of had an arc to it and stuff. But anyway, whatever. Ow, you dick. Ooh, grenade. I think select is to use grenades. Oh god, what is that? Ooh, triple boomerang. Okay, I, I don't have boomerangs still, though. Oh, the thing ran out. Oh, look at that. My boomerangs are freaking insane. Look at this. Yeah, I'm a boomerang king. Get out of here, weird... Uh, whatever they were. Weird power orbs. Get out of here. I meant, like, a, an Apollo 13 launch or something. There's, like, a big rocket ship in the back. Yeah, we can destroy those things. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, run! Flee, Boomerang Man, flee! Oh, God. Okay, ooh, a hamburger. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'm never I'm never too busy killing robots to not stop and eat a burger. Burgers are the food of life. Oh, God, get out of here. Get out of here. Ooh, I got a star. Hey, I have full life. I don't know how that happened. I'm actually doing good at an NES game on my first try. What is happening today? Oh, my God, my power is maxed out. Look how far my boomerang goes. Okay, but if we throw multiple, yeah, see, the power meter doesn't build up fast enough. So this is very interesting. This isn't actually an awesome mechanic. You can fire one shot really far, but if you start firing too many shots, your speed doesn't build up fast enough, so you can't, like, throw a bunch really far. Very interesting way to, like, balance the power-ups and not, like, make your guy overpowered. Can we destroy this thing or no? I don't know if we can or not. How about we avoid it? Okay. I'm gonna try going up this ladder and see what this gets me. Um, oh, it's a it's a boomerang dude. Oh, we killed him though. And oh yes, we got the. It looks like I put on a football helmet to. Uh... I'm gonna avoid these because I feel like I can't destroy them. Ow. Okay, the football helmet. I guess you can only take a few hits and then it's gone. Oh, get away. Okay, these are things you can stand on. One other thing I like about this game is I think when you get hit by an enemy, you don't get knocked back. Which is actually awesome. It's very common in video games that when an enemy hits you, your guy sort of, like, gets knocked back a little bit. So these platforms would be incredibly deadly, because if you got knocked into the spikes, it would just be game over. But the fact that you don't get knocked back... I mean, you take damage, but then you go invincible for a little bit, and you don't get knocked back. That See, like, I didn't get knocked back right there. That is, like, really... Really generous of them. Ooh, a burger. And I appreciate it. Okay, so the burgers do not regenerate full health. They just regenerate a little bit of health. They're just a snack. They're not a meal, guys. He's just having a little snack here. But, oh, God. What are these, bats? Why is there always bats? Oh, there's, like, bats and, like, Ed 209 robots. Well, like, look at that. <laughs> it's totally an Ed 209. This is, like, a... a they, they, like, stole from Contra, Terminator, and Robocop all in one. Developers were... Oh my god, no! Robots all around me! The developers were just really, really greedy with all the uh, awesome sci-fi franchises they wanted to steal from. Although, who can blame them? Because, uh... Because Robocop, uh, Contra, and Terminator are all awesome franchises, so of course, why not? And I, I, I say steal, like, mockingly. Like, it's kind of a thing that just, like, everything in, like, the 90s and 80s and stuff... Like, everything was based around, like, Terminator, Aliens, Predator. Like, there's so many games and movies and toys and stuff that are just kind of, like, like blatant copies of things that were cool uh, back then, you know? Like, like everyone wanted to cash in on the Arnold train. Um, Sector 1 confirmed lock release. Okay. Um, like, everyone wanted to... Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Can I use a grenade? Does that do anything? Oh, my God. 
God. Die, 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 die. Oh, we got him. I was kind of like, is he taking even taking any damage? But I noticed he had a health bar at the top. It's cool when enemies actually have a health bar so you can calculate if you should just spam the attack and you're going to be able to beast mode your way through. Because in some games, like, you don't have a health bar and you're like, man, I don't know. I'm so close to dying, but should I just go for it? And you don't know that just two more hits and the enemy's dead. And then you spend all this time trying not to get hit and then you die. So anyway, that was kind of a cool cutscene we got there. We got to unlock, uh, you know, their disarm sector one. We got like a little computer scene here. This game is awesome, actually. Like I've played literally one level and I'm like in love with this game. Like, how did I never play this back in the day? Like if I had rented this back in the day, oh my God, rentals were such a, a crap shoot back in the day. Hey, look, we have renewable uh, wind energy here. This is like showing a, a future where like the Green New Deal happened and like we have like renewable energy in the future. It would, this, this is an oddly socially progressive NES game for the 90s. But, uh, or was it? I don't know. Like, the 90s was very environmental. We had, like, Captain Planet and stuff. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, the rentals back in the day were, like, a big crapshoot. It's like you never knew what you were going to get. And, oh, my God, there's, like, a face in the wall. Can you kill this face? No. What happened to you, sir? How did you end up in a wall? Or maybe I did kill him. Reminds me of those faces in uh, Mario Brothers 2, the like bird faces that are actually portals that you go into, which don't make it. It's weird that even that's a thing, but nobody even uh, nobody questions it. Like, why did Mario have to teleport by walking into a giant bird's mouth? Who knows? It's Mario. Don't ask questions. Oh, God. Damn it. He hit me. How did this guy respawn? OK, whatever. I'll leave you to your eternal torment. Um, but yeah, rentals, a bit of a crapshoot. You never knew what you were going to get. It's largely because there was, like, so many bad NES games that just, like, oh, God. It's like you could you could get a total lemon, and you frequently did. So if I ever, if I had gotten this from a uh, rental back in the day, I would have been more than happy. Oh, this totally even looks like Contra. That's crazy. Whoa. Ow! <laughs> I thought I was safe there. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, no! I forgot! Okay, you can't fall down pits in this game. You have to go down ladders. So, yeah, I died. It's interesting that they uh, didn't take all my power-ups away, though. That's kind of nice. Like, I thought I would lose them all, but, like, I still have most of them. Ooh, now we have triple boomerang again. Cool. So we just need, like, the power boomerang, and then we'll be, uh, then we'll be set. We sit in pretty. Very generous game. The game has great controls. Great mechanics, great ideas. I just, oh, there's a ladder down here. Didn't even notice this. Okay, I guess we can't kill that. So, okay, I guess we'll give this path a try this time. Oh my God, those are, those are so scary. Those uh, pits there, ooh. Yes, please, a burger and a metal suit. Okay, so the football suit that we're in can only take three hits, it seems. I don't know how to kill these things. Okay, let's just grenade the screen. Probably safer. There we go. Ooh, what is this? Oh, he's dead. That's what he is. What does this thing do? I don't even know. Oh, he's alive again. Oh, you dick. Okay, we can only take one more hit as the football. Dude, ah, oh, damn it. It's so cool how you get like an extra health bar when you get the, the metal suit. I don't know, this game is like blowing me away, guys. Blowing me away. But yeah, everyone back in the 80s, they all wanted to copy Arnold. And like, who could blame them? Like, the man really did like define a culture. Um, it's like movies, video games, everything. It was like, make it all Arnold themed. Arnold's for, <laughs> Arnold for all, you know? And we like ate it up. We loved Arnold. I mean, we still do. Arnold, he's a treasure. The man's a treasure. <laughs> let's not, let's not uh, split. Oh god, kill that thing. Can't even talk right now. Let's not split hairs, let's not mince words. Arnold. Arnold's great. Oh god, I didn't think I would make that jump. That is a precarious jump. Oh my god. Don't give me a power up when I'm about to try and make a scary jump, man. Oh god. Oh god. Ugh. Oh, these things are like those uh, guys in Mega Man that only uh, like the, the yellow helmeted guys. And only like get up when you're like near them. There we go. Do we want to go this way? Is there any reason to go this way? Yeah, this game gives me lots of Mega Man 2 vibes. Oh, hello. Oh, but I don't have the key yet. 
Damn it, you must have the pro proper ID card. Access denied. Okay, well, we made it to the end of the level. So that's okay. Oh, God. We need a burger. Oh, no! Shoot! Oh, no, things are going... Things are going bad, guys. Things are going bad. I thought I thought we were doing pretty good. We, like, aced level one. We didn't die. Nothing really bad happened to us, but... I feel like now... We're on level two, and I'm getting so sloppy with it. I don't even know if there are continues in this game. I have no idea. I hope there are. Um, okay, so let's try going this way, because I think we have to go this way. To, oh, God, I forgot about the guy. Whatever. Uh, kill this rendition of his face. This guy should be like a magician from the 1930s. That's what this face looks like to me. Die. Die. Alright, he's out of bubbles. He's out of bubbles to barf at us. Talk about, talk about insulting your enemies. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna barf at the enemy. Barf all the bubbles that have gotten my gut. Oh, God. Ooh, a burger. Thank you. Oh man, there goes the triple boomerang though. Oh god. Those bats are actually pretty insane. Like they move so fast. Okay, he's kind of stuck. I'll take it. All right, so I guess on every level the idea is you have to find like a uh oh, damn it. like a helper dude who's going to like give you a key card. Oh man, I can't believe I survived that. Oh, this is where I died last time. Remember to go down the ladders and jump, jump. Like it's not, it's not that easy of a game, but it does, it does really speak to my like Nintendo sensibilities. You know, like I, I'm totally comfortable playing a game with like this kind of platforming and stuff. Oh, get out of here! And like the surprises and stuff that are coming my way. Damn it! Give me a burger or something. Okay. Oh, now we're in like a machine world. Okay. Gonna keep running. Oh, I lost my metal suit. Oh well. Damn, I need I need health. I need food badly. Okay. Oh, you can slow these things down by shooting at them. It's actually kinda handy. Oh my god. I'm probably gonna fall in this pit here. Oh! Hey, wait, when they're going up, they don't seem to hurt me. Oh, yeah, that's good to know, too. All right. Okay, I see a ladder over there. Going for the ladder. Okay, this... Oh, this is where I died last time? Or wait, is this the end of the level? I'm so confused. I don't... I don't r fully even remember. Okay. Get out of here. Ah, you stupid fish thing, creature. Thing from a Mega Man game. You know what else this game kind of reminds me of? Do you guys remember that old cartoon show, Cops? It was like a kid's cartoon show in the 80s, and it had, like, Long Arm and Misdemeanor and, like, Big Boss. And the whole premise of Cops, it was sort of like G.I. Joe, but, like, law enforcement in the future. It was like it took place in a future time of crime, and there were, like, a series of cops. Oh, no, wait. Where am I? Hold on. This is where we... This is the end of the level. I'm so confused. Wait. Oh, I just got gunned down in the back of the head. Hey, we got a password, too. We can continue, right? Okay, we get we continue with no items, but... So every level, I guess, is a bit of a puzzle, then. Interesting. All right. Oh, we got a better boomerang. That's good. So there's boomerang upgrades in terms of getting a different kind of boomerang, which I assume is power, like, or damage, I guess. Power is, like, how far you can throw, and then there's also the number of boomerangs you can throw. So there's a handful of upgrades that you can get here. Um, I don't have a grenade, or I would use it on this guy now. Try going down here. Can't remember what's down here. Oh, there's a uh, armor suit, though. I will take that. Ow. All right, we have the armor suit. It's interesting, you also even have the mech suit, so it's like, there's there's lots of different upgrades and stuff you can do in this game. Ow. Okay, so that's the end of the, the levels, like right over there through that area. 
This is so annoying. I'm just totally gonna <laughs> take the damage. There's no way to get past that guy without... Oh my god. Taking the damage. I wonder if they give you infinite continues in this or like how they do it. Oh god. Okay, I'm just running through it. No! Okay, I got killed. Um, where the hell is the guy that we need to find? I might honestly uh, look up a map if we, if we, if we, you know, like can't figure it out relatively soonish because I want to see a lot more of this game and I find it's not that it's too hard to beat this level. I mean, now it's getting quite difficult because I have no power ups, but it's not necessarily that this level is so hard to beat that we can't do it, but it's more just that, um, oh, we're screwed here. Oh god. It's more just that I don't know where to go. Okay, kill that guy. Hmm. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna look something up right now. Okay, thank you for purchasing Power Blade. We got our objective and our story. I love looking at these old uh instruction manuals. Screen display, power meter, grenades and wait, what's an energy tank? Changing options. Lure sector gives you a quick rundown of sector status. It will show you which sectors you have ID cards and which sectors you have downloaded. Tape units keep count of how many tape units you still have to collect. Oh, okay, so that's just how many we have to collect. What are these specialty items, though? So, um, continue password. Okay, use the control panel to select either grenades or energy tank. Then hit start to return to play after you found the item. Goes in um, the status screen, press the select button to use it. What does an energy tank do, though? Uh, oh, down here it actually says, In each sector, there is one energy tank. It's full of special ammo, protein, enzyme, fluid. Find it, and your power levels will be restored to full, no matter how low it was. Fortunately, your energy will start depleting again when you're hit. Well, isn't that just the normal thing that happens when you get hit? Your health depletes? Okay, whatever. Here's the metal suit, by the way. Nova can wield the power blade when wearing his metal suit. He can withstand three deadly hits without a uh, loss of strength. The power blade slices through walls, but some energy must still be hit more than once. All right. I have done a little bit of background research and taken a look at the map. And I think we were actually really close to finding the dude. We were just always kind of like skipping by him. Funnily enough. Oh god, ow. Oh my god. Uh, this actually really <laughs> screws me up. Oh god. <laughs> like, we're taking so much damage, I feel like we almost should just continue. Like, we should almost just throw our life away and continue, but... I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna see- I'm gonna see if I can dig deep and make this actually happen. We will see. Oh god, when you only have one boomerang, you have to, like, really choose your targets. Oh, I think I have two boomerangs now, thankfully. Alright. Oh, nice try. Oh. All right. So what we have to do basically is we just have to climb as high as we can and then go as far to the right as uh, as we can. That's basically all we have to do. And then we will find the dude that we're looking for. Oh my God. Ow. Die. 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 It'd be nice in a game like this if you had like a little mini map, but I know that's asking a lot of an NES game. Uh, I mean, some NES games just literally couldn't even render the, a mini map uh, due to technical limitations, but like it would be nice for a game like this to have some kind of like map. Boom, kill that guy. I think this guy will just get stuck if we give him the chance. No, he'll hit us. Oh, <laughs> and he dropped a burger too. Such a tease when the bats drop a burger, because, like, what can you do? You can't get it. And this part's stressful. I think here... Oh, man, this is... Stressing me out a lot. Okay. Boom. Oh, God. Go down! Okay. Go. Oh, my God, I can't believe we didn't take damage there. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh god, ow. Okay, wait, did we go the right way? Damn it, we screwed it up. See that ladder up there? We're supposed to climb up one more screen and then go to the right. I think- I don't think we can do it now. I think, uh, it's- it's easier just to kill yourself and- and retry, so... That's what we will do, sadly, when we have one life left, but let's go through this! 
with full lives. I want, uh, I want all three, uh, all three lives here. All right. And let's switch back to, uh, grenades. Boom. We don't have any grenades, but let's keep them handy. We will get some. Promise? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, let's restart this one more time. All right. You know, the music even reminds me of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like one of the Ninja Turtles game on games on NES. I don't know which one specifically, one or two, but this sort of has like that Konami-ish Ocean Ultra. It was Ultra that put out Ninja Turtles, right? It has that sort of Ultra feel to it. I don't know. The game is like such an interesting amalgam of so many different NES games. Oh, God. It's, it's really nice, I think, as an adult, you know, uh, to find an NES game that you did not know existed. Or, like, even if NES isn't your thing. You like Sega Genesis. You like Intellivision. You know, whatever it is. It's, I think, one of the, the joys of being a retro gamer as an adult is discovering a retro game for a system that you loved that you did not know existed as a kid. So as much as I've been talking about how, like, I wish I had this game as a kid, I wish I rented it, I wish, you know, I had been on the ball and seen it talked about in magazines and stuff, at the same time, I also kind of feel like I'm also fine with the fact that I'm playing it now. That after however many years, 30 years, like, I'm finally, you know, discovering it and able to play it. That's actually pretty cool, because uh, it's pretty cool to find, like, something... Uh, something new again on the NES, you know, like having grown up with the NES, I thought I played all the really good games. And if I had played all the really good games, that would have been okay. But like, then it's a little sad as an adult because there's nothing to look forward to. There's no like new discovery that I can make. So yeah, see, there it is. Okay. I always go down this ladder over here, but that's actually not what you should do. Oh God. So what you need to do is go over here. Oh, this is how I always miss the dude. Oh my god! What is happening? Oh, it's coming for me. Oh my god, this thing is crazy. Jeez. Jeez. Don't kill me, man. Oh, it gave me a burger. Jeez, you die. I got a star. Oh, the star is power. So the star is power, the burgers are health. The double boomerang and triple boomerang icons are easy to spot. And then there's the kind, the type of boomerang, like the boomerang damage level. Oh, we got a grenade. Damn it. Okay, here we go. This is the part that we have never made it to before. Oh my god, get out of here. Ooh, extra boomerangs. Get out of here. Oh my god, I can't hit this thing. I don't have enough range. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. Now my boom look at look at the range I have now on these boomerangs. Actually insane now. Hey, dude! Hey, it looks just like me. He's wearing the same pants as me too. This is awkward. You must be Nova. I'm your contact here. Take this card for sector two. Good luck. I like how all the informants are like acting like it's a little secret to like help me. Like, did they, did they swear allegiance to the computer or the aliens that stopped the computer or something? Where they're like, yeah, we're not going to help any humans. Don't worry about us. We're on your side, hombres. Ooh, give me that sweet burger. All right, we have basically full health. Oh, God, those frogs spit things. Basically full health. And we are in good shape to take this level, I think. Oh, God, I'm going to run, run. Ow. <laughs> I just stood there and took that one. All right, besides a few little minor mistakes, I think we're doing well. How does anyone accidentally get crushed by those things? I would like to know. Because I'm pretty sure I could just run through the thing at this point. Yeah, like, it doesn't do any damage. Okay, it did damage there. All right, we can't get too cocky with them. But yeah, okay. These things are pretty easy to avoid. Gotta be a little patient. There we go. Also, it's funny how, uh... Ooh, there we go, power up. Oh my god, more power ups. Keep keep giving them to me, whatever you are. These things are like just power up machines. Oh god. Any power ups? Any more power ups? More power ups? Oh, I just sniped that guy. Oh god. Okay, that thing almost got me though. Come here. Come here. Yeah, snipe that guy too. Yeah, snipe that guy too. No! No! Oh, wait. It checkpointed me to where I saved the dude. 
Okay, well, this is why we did this level with multiple lives. Oh my god. I just- I didn't make a jump. That's how I died. That is- that sucks. And we were doing so good. We were, like, max-powered. Pits in video games are, like, one of the most deadly things ever. Even in modern video games, pits are one of the few things that can, like, kill you with no questions asked. Like, you just encounter a pit- Oh, I went to jump again. You encounter a pit at the wrong time and you're just done. You know? And it's, like, fully accepted. It's, like, pits are just one of those things. Plus spikes. Spikes are also just, like, a, a one-shot deal. Are spikes really that deadly? I mean, I know, like, you know, the Iron Maiden was, like, a medieval torture device where they would, like, just put a bunch of spikes on you and stuff, but, like... I mean, I... I mean, spikes obviously are deadly, but, like, are they that deadly? Are they, are they more deadly than, like, lasers and bullets and robots trying to jump on you and stuff? I'm just saying. Maybe... Maybe the video games are, like, overemphasizing the power of spikes. You know? Um, oh, I tried to snipe that guy again. It's, like, hard to actually get it in there. It's, like, hard to... Hold on. How do you... How did I do that that one time? Oh, I missed that power-up, too, because I was... Being, trying to be too fancy with it. Okay, let's just... Kill this guy. Can we kill this guy? Die, dude! <laughs> Alright, thank you. I really would like some more power-ups, actually. I wonder if I could just farm them for a bit. Oh, God. Probably gonna die doing this. Will these guys keep giving me power-ups? Or are they kind of done? Also, I'm running out of time. I only have... Well, I only have 897 seconds left. Oh, well, that is a burger. I will take that. That guy's back, too. Oh, God damn it. It's actually so easy to get hit if you're not careful. Okay, that's, that's power. I like that. All right. Oh, and I sniped that guy. All right, we're in good position. Now, if I can just not fall. Like, this This is a brutal jump, by the way, can I just say? Oh, God. We made it. As long as we don't make any stupid mistakes, we got this. And we got three grenades. Let's just use one right here. Let's be extra safe, extra cautious. No! 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 Oh, my God, I suck. You know what? As I jumped, I realized I jumped too early and that I was done. As I was in the air, I realized I screwed that jump up. That sucks. Okay, this is our last life. God damn it. You guys probably thought I was being, like, way too cautious to uh, reset after dying once. You're like, Jay, you know where the guy is. You know, just go do it. But, no, like, this is why I reset twice, people. I know myself. Know thyself. Isn't that an old, uh... Roman saying about video games, know thyself and save often in multiple save game files. That is another old, an ancient Roman saying about retro video gaming. Ow. <laughs> I wonder if Romans and Greeks had their own kind of retro games. Because, like, certainly they had, like, not board games, but they had, like, games. You know, like, games and stuff existed. Uh, you know, like, checkers and chess, and, I mean, those are <laughs> more, I think, was chess Chinese or something? And it was a, it was co-opted by the Europeans? I don't know. I don't know the history of games, but, like, certainly, it's like, there were games of some kind in the Roman and the Greek era. And I wonder if there were, like, you know, Greek retro gaming dudes who were like, you know what? I grew up with, like, this form of, like, weird, you know children's game, and I don't like the children's games that people are playing nowadays. I only go for, like, the, the retro games of 500 BC. Five, or 450 BC, just... Those games are just not for me, man. They're too complicated. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if there's old curmudgeon people in the ancient Greece times who are, like, the equivalent of me. Maybe. Okay. Don't screw that up. Pro tip, don't screw that part up, and you'll be just fine. Okay, we have full health. We even have two of these energy bar things. So, uh, let's see. See if we can beat this boss. We have to one-shot this boss, too. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I'm just gonna power through. Oh god, oh god. Okay, hold on. Use this. Boom, 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 boom. Die, boss, die! Woo! Okay, we had to use one of our energy meters. 
because I did not want to risk losing this level. That might be a bad sign. It may be that the later bosses... Um... The later bosses are far more deadly, and I'll need those energy boosters, but I guess I'm out of luck on that. Alright, let's give Sector 3 a shot here. I, I seriously am like, I kind of want to see if I can beat this whole game today. But, in the interest of time, uh, just so we're not kind of screwing around too much, I am going to take a look and see, like, where I need to go to find this dude. Because, like, already there's, like, multiple pathways. Should I go down? Should I go right? Uh, let me, let me take a look here. Alright, it seems like we just need to go up as high as we can, and then we will find the dude. That's really the only tip we need. Other than that, we're gonna rely on our own animal prowess. Look how this guy runs. He runs with, with, like, uh, purpose. He's, like, moving his arms real aggressively. Like, he, he's, like, full-on, like... Okay, what is happening here? Hold on. We kill this guy. <laughs> oh, he just ran away. He's like, nope! I'm done. Yeah, you better run. I'll hit you in the frickin' face with a boomerang, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get out of here. Boom. Not on my watch. Give me that sweet burger. There was a burger in that robot. It was a Burger King assault drone. <laughs> a Burger King class assault drone coming to kill me. Also to deliver me a sweet and savory Whopper. What is that green stuff? I don't trust it. Oh, it's these things again. Ooh, that carried a burger, too. There's a Burger King class scout drone facility. Great thingy. I don't know. I'm not really good at coming up with names on the spot, guys. Um, ooh. I like these platforming parts where you have to, like, focus on timing and planning. I find this kind of stuff really fun. Like, I, I'm loving this. I am loving this. That was, that was awesome. Very enjoyable. Thank you, game developers. Tato, I think, are the ones who developed this game. Oh, nice. It's nice. Oh, look how far that one, that one boomerang flies off the screen. That's insane. It goes up into the health bar area. That is insane. Man, once you have maxed out the power on your boomerangs, that first shot is, like, so deadly. That is nuts. That is nuts. I love it. Hey, can we get up there? I don't know if we can. We're gonna have to go down here. Why is the grass, like, pulsating? Like, can anyone answer that for me? I'm just- that's, like, one minor question. I'm not confused about the fact that we're fighting, like, robots and ape men and all sorts of stuff. Why is the grass pulsating a weird color? Is this grass? What is this stuff? Okay, go, 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 go. We can run past that one. Oh yeah, those ape- those pink ape robots that just want to kill us. I love how, like, whoever programmed these robots for death was also like, you know what? Hot pink. That's the color I'm gonna go with. Oh, it's a Terminator! Is that guy gonna come back to life? Oh my god. Hey, it's the dude! Hey, dude! What are you doing here with a bunch of T-800 models? You must be Nova. I'm your contact. Here! Take this ID card for Sector 3. Good luck. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna go into grenade mode here. Okay. So that's kind of a cool enemy, an enemy that cannot ever be killed. Sort of like your own self-doubt. Alright. But they're pretty easy to get through. Oh god. But the frogs are deadly! <laughs> the frogs are deadlier than, like, the cyborgs that were programmed to kill us. Let's just skip that. I don't feel like fighting that guy today. Or these guys. Okay, and kill that thing. Kill out that guy. Can't talk. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Grenade. Ooh! And we missed a burger. Oh well. There's only like... I'm only down two health points. Although I have no extra lives. Shoot, I didn't think about this. If we make it to the boss here... Uh, and we have no extra lives. So that is trouble. Um, I think I want to go down. Ooh, but there is a mech suit. So that could help. Oh man, if we get to the boss with a mech suit? That could be interesting. Did take a hit right there, though. Oh, I took another one right there. Okay, I'm gonna get this grenade, because I definitely need grenades. Oh! Okay, we're definitely not making it to the boss with a mech suit. One more hit and this awesome mech suit is gone. We're gonna try and keep it as long as we can. 
Because, if anything, it just gives us that one extra hit. Ooh, and we're full health now. Alright, maybe we will get to the boss with a mech suit. Never say never, I guess. Goonies never say never. Or no, Goonies never say die, that was the quote. Alright, feeling good. Got my football mech suit going on here. Man, this thing just dominates. Any fish want to mess with me? Turns out, a full football uniform is pretty good against fighting fish and frogs. <laughs> uh, makes me picture like a high school quarterback dressed up in his full football gear, like just fighting a bunch of like, uh, wildlife for no reason. Yeah, we did lose the suit, unfortunately. Oh, one of these things. Oh shoot, we're at the boss. Alright, so last time I looked at the health bar of the boss and I was focusing on that, I really wasn't even paying attention to what the boss was doing. This time, I'm going to try to pay attention to what the boss is doing and not get hit. I think that's a, a good way to live life. Okay. We're doing okay. But we are not damaging the boss at all. Wait, what do I have to do here? I think I have to, like, destroy the, like... Bug spawning things? Oh god, ow. Wait, how do I- how do I do this? Oh no! Okay, I think I destroyed- okay. You have to destroy the bug spawning apparatuses. It's gonna keep a boomerang going like this. Oh my god, this boss is actually really easy. Okay, just keep juggling the boomerang up here. Oh, there we go. Okay, this guy, this guy's done. Holy crap. This is, this was such an easy boss once I figured it out. We fought a giant beehive. Go figure. I don't know. That level was cool, though. Boss? Pretty easy, actually. I think that would be way harder if you had fewer boomerangs. Like, if you did not go into that boss powered up, I could see that being very difficult. Yeah! Appreciate that my guy has computer programming skills. He's not just a gorgeous body. You know, like a body chiseled by the gods, but he's also got a bit of tech savviness to him, you know. He went to college, he went to he went to school, man. This is not this is not just a dummy who relied on his strength and insane ability to throw boomerangs. Can I could I actually get this guy? Oh I can! Wow, what a trick shot that was. Um, okay, I'm gonna look up which way to go again. Okay, this time we wanna go to the right. And uh let's kill this guy again. Oh, I love that trick shot is actually really fun. Um, I think that jump would kill me. I think I have to kind of go up first. Um, yeah, it, maybe... Oh, I guess I have to go up and over. Maybe it is, like, sort of cheating to, like, look up where to go. But, I mean, I do kind of feel like, uh... You know, in the interest of being able to play this game in a reasonable amount of time... Um, you know, I, I, I need some idea where to go. I can't just have no idea. Oh, God. Die! This guy, too. It's actually really tricky. Like, I still can't go over to the right. Like, you've got to go all the way up here before you go to the right. Oh, damn it, I took a hit. This is stupid. All right, talk about a convoluted path here. Boom, kill you. Kill you, too. Okay, now we're going to keep going back down. Oh, God, ow. Okay, and... Damn, I'm, like, taking hits like crazy. Oh god, I just barely made that. That's a crazy jump. Okay, but we are on track now, basically. Oh god damn it. Die! I'm gonna need health really soon. Um sure. Oh yeah, there's the dude. I was gonna be like, I don't hundred percent know if I'm in the right spot, but yes, there we go. You must be Nova. I'm your contact. Here, take this ID card for Sir Sector 4. Good luck. Thanks, dude. Don't tell anyone where I got it. If anybody asks, I was born with this card. Ooh, a burger. A burger in a frozen wasteland. Mm-mm-mm. Outta here. Um, let's just grenade these guys. It's like, I don't want to deal with them. Ooh, there's that... there's a, uh... Like a power refill thing. Oh god. That jump was actually precarious. Oh my god, I can't jump out of this! Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! I thought I was dead. Okay, I'm using another grenade. I, I... I wasted three grenades there. 
just to get some power. Oh my god, but I can't even get out of there. I do have to go this way. Okay, hold on. How do I... Oh god, ow. Kill you. Alright, waste another grenade. And I don't need to kill that guy. Die! But I will, because it's fun. Oh, you bastard, he shot me in the back. Alright. We got another energy tank. Oh my god, I'm going to take a hit here. Ow. Uh, but I can get the robot suit. We got another energy tank. We got the key card. We got this. We got this. We even have the mech suit. Ow. Took a hit, stupidly, though. Oh, man. The mech suit can actually shoot through walls, which I did not realize the first time I put it on, and that's actually one of its most useful abilities. Maybe we can kill this thing here. There we go. Kill this one here. That one was way easier. Oh. I want to go up or to the right? Oh, my God. I'm so scared. Um, if I go to the right, I can't come back. Well, let's just see what's over here first, I guess. Um... Alright, let's go this way, whatever. Whatever, we just gotta keep going up. That's all I know. Eventually we'll get to the boss. Ooh, another mech suit! Wait, well this just... Oh, it regenerates my health. Alright, sweet. Um, alright. Keep going. Boss is up here somewhere in the clouds. Oh, this is a dead end. Okay, we do have to go to the right. Okay, well, I'm glad we explored. I'm glad we explored all of our options here. Oh, God! Die, die, die! Everything, everyone get away from me! Everyone can just leave me alone for five seconds! Where am I going now? Wait, aren't I supposed to go up? I'm confused. Can I get up? No, I can't! Um, okay. I guess I go down into the left. Eventually, I should get to the boss, right? What, imagine this game, like, soft locks you. You, like, actually can't get to the boss. Boom! When you fall from a from a, a high uh, drop, you don't take fall damage, but your guy kind of, like, takes a knee for a second, and you actually can't shoot or anything. And that's actually screwed me up a couple of times. Oh, nice try. Not falling for that. Oh, God. Like, pits are the scariest thing in the world to me. <laughs> At the moment. Alright, just checking. Oh, hello, hello. Get out of here, get out of here. Nobody wants to see that nonsense. Get out of here. Who programmed all these robots to hate? We need to program our robots to love, not to hate. Wait for this guy to go away. Aha! Gotcha. Tricked ya! Maybe the robots think I'm a robot, too, because I'm in a robot suit, and we're able to, like, confuse them. Oh, God. Oh, God. These guys move so erratically and so fast. You know what? Oh, it didn't even kill them! Let's see what happens here. Ha ha! Die, robot! All about learning the pattern, guys. The NES turned me into... A pattern recognizing machine. Okay, okay, that does not kill that guy. Does not seem fair. You come all the way over here. Okay, whatever. We had to take a hit to kill that guy. I didn't know how else to do it. That guy was being super annoying. Why did I do that? Oh my god, I almost killed myself. I jumped at like the exact wrong time. My palm is so sweaty now. It's like, where did that come from? My palm got instantly sweaty. Oh my god, these jumps. I'm playing it so stupid. So stupid. I have no grenades left either. I've been really relying on the grenades more than I thought I would. They're actually super helpful at various points. Okay. Die! I'm just like shooting in anticipation of something. Something's gonna come for me for the clouds. Come for me from the clouds. Go. Okay, we got that guy. Oh, I see the end. It's right here. Oh my god, if I don't- if I can avoid taking, like, one more hit... Oh! Then I can fight the boss! Oh yes, in the mech suit! I didn't think it was gonna happen! Oh my god, we're so close. Oh my god, there's a burger. Oh, I don't need it. 
All right, die. Go, go, go. God, where's this boss? Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Oh my God. Oh, yes, we killed him. Mm, we did it. We made it to a boss with a mech suit. I don't know if it'll help us. Like the mech suit would not have been useful against those bees, but whatever, I'll take it. An extra hit. Oh my God, and there it goes. Okay. Um, um, I can't even hit this guy. Okay, I... I got ya. I got ya. Okay. I might use... Oh, maybe I don't need to, though. Oh, yes! I was gonna say I might use an energy power-up, but I didn't even need to. You know what's funny? I was looking at the boss's health, and I thought that was mine. I'm like, man, how's he hitting me every time he moves? But in actuality, it was me hitting him. It's actually kind of funny. Pro tip! Pay attention to your health bar, not the enemy. All right, we're flying through. Time to take a look at Sector 5. And the nice thing about Sector 5 is that the boss and the ID card are very close to one another. So I don't think I really need to take a different path to either of them. I just have to work my way through the level. So work my magic. And we got this. Oh, God. You know what I did not realize? We are still on that one zero life continue, you know? Like, we, we have not died for, like, several levels here. It's actually crazy. Level two was so hard. I was like, wow, if all the levels are like this, they're like, I don't know if we're gonna actually going to beat this game today. I wanted to beat it, but I'm like, I don't know if we will. But now, like ever since level two, we're I, f I find we're just plowing through these levels. Ow. Um, at like breakneck speed. Oh, God. Ow. Jeez. Oh, God. Ah, get away. Oh, God. Just take taking hits like crazy, though. OK, that that helped. A delicious burger will cure what ails ya. Oh god, run down here. Oh my god! Oh god, I did not really like plan that all that well, but it all worked out in the end! For old Jay. Okay. Oh god. There we go, there we go. Okay, so this was just a place to get a power up. You die, you die. Oh god. Die, die. Okay, hold on. What are these things anyway? They're just like gun shooting thingy things? Gun shooty thingy things? I don't know, giant cannons? What's the word I'm looking for? Turrets? I don't even know what I'm what word I am looking for, but. They're things that shoot. Traditionally, I guess they're called guns. Big gun turrets. Oh oh wow, I missed I dodged that. Your hot pink gorilla spitting robots can't harm me! I'm Metal Man. I guess my name is Power Blade. I think the original name for this game was Power Mission, actually. Um, I think there's footage of it at CES and in, like, Nintendo Power Magazines and stuff. And it's called uh, Power Mission. I don't know why they changed it to Power Blade. I guess they thought Power, like, Blades are better than Missions. Who knows? Oh, my God. Wow, I can't believe I made it through that section. Oh! Oh, he didn't even hit me! Oh, my God. I don't know how I'm doing so well with this power suit, but we're somehow holding it together. Oh, I thought I didn't make that jump. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, God, ow. Okay. Oh, my God, another power suit. All right, whatever. I'll take it. Oh, that's funny. Getting this second power suit cost me my power suit. <laughs> get out of here. Okay, that was a big waste because basically what happened was... I got a power suit that had one less hit point than the one I had, so now I'm in a damaged power suit. I would have totally avoided that had I known. Had I known that that's what awaited me, I would have avoided that. Boom, I got a grenade out of this, though. Doing okay? Um, yes, I will use the grenade. Ooh, look at another uh, thingy thing! <laughs> Man, I am... I'm bad with the words today. A thingy thing, a gun thing. Ooh, what are the, the thingy thingos? Oh, you can shoot diagonally? I didn't know these guys could do that. All right, we're gonna keep going up. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I can even shoot up, okay. Wow, this power suit just got way better. Played like half the game, didn't even know half these abilities existed. And Oh, it's the dude. Hey dude, what up bro? Psst. You must be Nova. I'm your contact. Take this ID card for Sector 5. Good luck. 
Why are all these muscly men uh, saving ID cards for me? Damn it. I not only lost my power suit, but I took a hit. That sucks. Okay, we gotta get to that ladder over there. Oh my god, I'm taking more hits. Oh, but we got a burger. Got a burger out of the deal. Oh shoot, should I have jumped for that? I think I should have. I think I screwed myself. Ow. The bullet to the side of the face. I have to do this part again? God. Okay, go down the ladder! Okay, maybe I'll get a burger. Maybe it won't all be bad. Hold on. There we go. Kill that guy. Jump. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta get a burger out of somebody. Somebody's gotta pony up some... a big whopper for me or something. And it will all be worth it. Oh, these goddamn things. The trick is to shoot them when they're moving fast, because it slows them down. Actually. I, I didn't realize that the first time I played. Um, okay. So... Oh, we even killed that guy. I didn't even need to use a grenade. Okay, avoid the shooty-shooty things. Avoid that guy. Okay, I have to jump for this ladder. Got back off. Oh, it didn't work! Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Wait. How do I do this? Okay, from my research, I think I gotta backtrack through this whole level, ow. And, uh, basically kind of go back almost to the beginning. And then come at this from a different angle. So hopefully I don't die. I mean, I guess if I get really low on health, I'll just have to use one of the, uh, life energy cubes or whatever that I obtained. What was it? Was it, They called it like life enzymes or something in the instruction manual. Like enzymes that like give you health. Oh god. Oh god. It sound, which makes it sound like he's just eating like, uh, you know, genetically modified porridge or something disgusting made of like algae. Something really gross. Oh look, a bunch of robots. I'm good at killing robots. It's what I do. Boom. Kill you. My boomerang just sliced through steel. What are my boomerangs made out of? Adamantium, maybe? Something cool like that. Anyway, I don't mind having to backtrack here. I just thought that uh, we could have uh, we could have got to the boss right away. So the ID card guy and the boss are like literally side by side, but I guess actually they're really far away. <laughs> like, like they're they're close in distance, but they're far away in like travel. God damn. Oh god, that guy got me too. Damn it. I was doing really well. Like I oh god, I got a burger and stuff. My health was going up. Now we're going back down. Wait for this. Oh god damn it. It got me. <laughs> I was like, wait for it to shoot. Play it cautious. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, we are really low on health. One more hit and I might have to use uh, an energy thing. See if we can get lucky and get a burger though. One burger would solve a lot of problems in my life. <laughs> Hashtag, that could be literally a motto for any single day of my life. One burger could solve a lot of problems. Let me get out of here. Uh, which one do we want? Let's see what's up here. Yeah, let's take it. Ooh, a burger. One burger! Solve some problems in my life. That is so funny. If you do all the extra effort to, to climb the, the ladder to the right in that room below, you just end up in a dead end. Oh, and this is where we were before. Right. And I think now we can just go up like this. Oh, God. Dick. You dick. We farm for burgers? Oh, God. Uh, we might just literally need to use... Yeah, okay, let's use a... Uh, let's use a thingy. Alright. We used one, we used one. We have two extra life containers and we're on, we're on Sector 5. Presumably in Sector 6, we might find another one. And that means we have like three for the last level, whatever it is. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, hold on. Boom, boom, boom! Where's the enemy? Oh, yes, we got him without taking damage. Yes! Alright, we got you, enemy. Okay, this is not too bad at all, either. Pretty doable. I like this boss. Oh, yeah. It's actually pretty fun with the boomerangs, because you set the boomerangs up, and you know that they'll, like, come flying back to you. 
So they'll definitely damage the boss, and then you just have to sort of like dance around the boss's attacks. Oh god, okay, we're gonna take some damage there. Okay, the boss got away on that one. Oh, here we go. That was a hit. At least one hit, I think. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, we got this. Yes, eat it! Whatever you were! It was like some kind of like weird sex sexy robot that was like appearing out of the shadows and like exploding green balls on us. <laughs> whatever you were, whatever you were programmed to do originally, robot, you were also programmed to lose, apparently. Access permitted. Huzzah! Alright. Only one sector left. Time to do this. So if we pause the menu, yeah, it says tape unit one. We only have one more tape unit to get. That's actually very exciting. Alright, which way do we go? Apparently, we just start by going down. <laughs> the dude's like right there. Hey, oh my god, these totally are the sewers from Ninja Turtles. Did they just straight up rip this off? That is so interesting. Um, yeah, so the dude we need to save is like right at the beginning here. I almost feel like that should be in the first level, like something that basic. <laughs> um, okay, hello? You wanna fight me or what? All right, there you go. Down you go. All right. Oh my god, appearing blocks. That's fascinating. Die, die. Okay, so I guess that's how we're gonna have to get out of here. It's, it, this strikes me as one of those things where it's gonna be easier to get to the guy and harder to get back from the guy. Like, if I were a game developer for Sector 6, that's what I would do. So, ooh, a grenade, thank you. I like how the fish guy died and he dropped his power up, like, right on the block for us. Well, that guy, too. Alright, hey, dude! Nice pants. Fuchsia. It's bold. Oh, it's a girl! The only girl we've seen the whole game! She's got a secret for us. Take this card for your Sector 6. I like how she's like, Psst, come over here, give me the card. Like, just act natural. Just pretend we're in the sewer having a casual conversation. Nothing suspicious about just hanging out in the sewer with a buddy. A compadre. Oh my god. Oh god. The timing of this. You gotta get, like, a power shot. There we go. There we go. There we go. Like, this, this level would be right at home in, like, the Ninja Turtles. You know, like, the Ninja Turtles for NES be right at home. Too bad we can't just jump up here. It's such a tease. Boom, all right, you're done. Okay, so this one appears, and this one appears, then that one appears. Let me watch the timing here. Okay, so they're pretty generous with the timing. Oh shoot, the timing's like all off now. Yep. <laughs> okay, hold on. We gotta wait for the timing to align again. Okay, hold on, maybe it would make sense to like come back off the screen and come back to this. You can appear. Okay. Oh, I can jump through that block. Okay, I thought that block was gonna hit my head and make my life way more difficult. Okay. Jump. 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 Ah! Oh, not bad at all! I enjoyed that! Developers, I commend you once again, you fine, fine folks, for making a great, great NES game. Oh, I love this background here, too. Ow. <laughs> Um, by the way, I'm pretty sure that there is some graphic in this game where you can clearly see what looks like the CN Tower in the background. So for those of you not familiar, um, the CN Tower stands for the Canadian National Tower, and it is in Toronto. And I'm pretty sure right next to what appears to be the CN Tower, you can also see the Sky Dome, which nowadays is called the Rogers Centre, but for those of you who don't know, it's the giant sports stadium for the Blue Jays that exists in Toronto. So I'm willing to say, without any other background research or evidence, that this game is clearly set in a futuristic Toronto. And that is not a guess or a hope. That is what I would consider a fact. Um, so there you go. Another fun fact about this game, it takes place in Toronto. Just uh, don't look that up anywhere else except you know, here on this channel. Nobody, other people may not be privy to the kinds of background information that I am with regards to, to, to Taito, you know, the company that made this. I have a tight relationship with them guys. Tight relationship. It's not formal, 
And if you contact them, they will, of course, deny it, and they'll ask who I am. Pretend that they've never heard of me. Those jokers, they've always been like that. But you can trust me when I say, without need to look up anything else, I do have a tight working relationship with everyone at Taito. Everyone who is there, everyone who's ever been there. And that's a fact. It's what I would consider a fact. Which is, should be good enough for you people. Um, anyway. Enough of my ridiculous ramblings. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> I wish I knew someone at Taito, or Konami. Or anywhere, that'd just be cool. Um, I obviously don't. But, uh... But yeah. It'd be cool to have, like, a friend who was in, like, the game development business, I think. Um, oh, this is a totally dead end. Alright, I got, I got... Fooled here. Um, I guess we'll go back out the way we came. Up like this. Yes. Um, get out of here. Get out of here. We need burgers. We need robots packing burgers. Oh, God. Bergs, as I like to call them. Get out of here. Black guy. Anyone else want to mess with me? God. Oh, God. These guys want to mess with me, and they are not messing around. Okay. Oh, got that guy too. I feel like I'm getting better, better at like boomerang trick shots here. As funny as that is to say, I'm like the boomerang master. I'm the boomerang whisperer. Oh, get out of here, robot. Uh, hold on. Get out of here, robot. Oh, I got both of them. Wait for this guy to come back. Send him back down. Ha! Oh, I think I can take that guy out. I totally can. There's no need to, but I don't know. Uh, maybe if I need to go down there later, it'd be nice if he were dead. Although all the enemies constantly respawn, so... Ooh. That looks like the end to me. And we do have the card already. Oh! Oh! What is this crap? Okay, so we want to go down like this. And how about we just do this? Oh, burgers! Burgers, as far as the eye can see. Two grenades, that was a fair trade for two burgers. I'll make that trade every time, every day. If you guys ever show up with two burgers, I will give you two grenades. Sector 6, ID confirmed. Lock released. Oh yeah, man, I can't believe that we've- Oh, what is this guy? What is this guy? Ugh. Okay, we just have to shoot him in the face. Okay, or... Oh, God, and he's gonna damage us. Ow. Oh, God. Okay. Well, we need to use one of these. I think. Hopefully I didn't confuse my life bar with his. Alright, we use we used an energy thing, but the Energon things, that's what they're for. Nobody panic. We got this under control. We have two Energon cubes safely stored. And we're basically one-shotting this game. If we forget the bit, the giant cluster mess that level two was, we're basically just flying through this game with uh, with no safety net. We're playing on one life. I think it's pretty badass. All right, here we go. We are entering the project gate. Uh, I think. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that face was the bad guy. That's like the computer AI. He's like an evil Cortana. Only he looks like a 1930s magician. Intruder alert! Peripheral security forces have been breached. Main defenses activated. You're going down, Wizro, Or whatever the hell your name is. His eyes are even closed. He's not even looking at us. Attention, intruder! You are instructed to cease current activity. Further action will prove fatal. Okay, he's threatening to kill us. Nobody threatens to kill us but me. So we're not going to stand for it, guys. Um, we are we are lean three. Le <laughs> I can't even talk. We are lean mean boomerang throwing machine. I, I started to say a lean three boomerang boom, 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 blah blah blah. Because I can't talk. Um, but uh, I don't think there's any ID cards or anything we need in this level, so we can just go full full steam and uh, try and like macho man it out. Which is what we are going to do. Oh, yeah. And we get to start off with a metallic power suit. How can we lose this level? How can we lose? We also have two, uh... Two, uh, full health packs in our booty. Oh, God. Oh, that guy. I feel like this game has been, like, a fun journey. Because certainly it's, it's not 
that hard overall. I mean, yes, I will fully admit I did look up where to find the ID card, guys, because after level two, I realized that's going to be the big impediment to making progress in this game. So I fully understand that if I were, if I'd rented this, this could have taken a weekend to beat because you'd actually have to study these levels, work your way through, find out yourself exactly where to go. So I get I cheated a little bit. I'm fully willing to admit to that. Um, but once you do kind of have an idea of the levels, it's really not that hard to beat, but it is a fun ride. And also, I feel like I have really, like, improved. I don't want to, like, sound too cocky about it, but, like, the first level, I feel like if I went back and replayed it, even the second level, I feel like I would do so much better than, uh, now, because I've gotten, like, such a better feel for the game. Um, I have, like, such a better sense of, like, what's going on. I don't know, just, like, um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun, good game. And it's the kind of game where, like, if you put a little bit of effort in, you can definitely see marked improvement in your ability. So um, it does have a time limit, which is one thing that I'm not super crazy about in games. But the time limit is so generous that, you know, like, I've never even been close to running out. Oh, crap, I took a hit there, stupidly. Never even been close to running out the time limit. Damn it. I was really hoping we get to the final boss wearing the mech suit, but looks like that is not going to be in the cards. Um, that jump would probably kill me. So, one thing we really have to be careful about is like a pit could literally end this run. If I do one bad jump, the run could be over. I mean, I would I would continue. I would obviously continue because we're so close to the end here. I just I want to see it for my own sake. But yeah, if I if I fall in the pit, we're done. Robot suit or not. Oh, get out of here. Oh, my robo suit. Sweet, sweet robo suit. Oh, well, I guess we had to lose it eventually. Ow. You dick. You stupid head. You stupid AI. Next time we program AIs, we're going to specifically not program them for evil, dude. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, hold on. We got to study this a bit. Okay, we want them both to appear kind of together. Yeah, that was that was <laughs> not comfortable enough for me. We're going to wait for this. Here's the one place where our time limit might start to look a little dicey. Yeah, that would have been good, but I want the closer one to appear first. Okay, yeah, the, the other one didn't want to appear. That's okay. We're going to wait for the closer one to appear. Okay, the other one's not going to appear. Okay, here we go. This is it. I feel it. Let's just go for it. <laughs> Yes, oh my god. That is that is honestly a little nerve-wracking because it's like I probably had tons of time, but if I didn't, that would just be it. Oh, we're at the boss. Okay, that was easy. Okay, what is this guy? He appears and he shoots things at you. Okay. So in th theory, I can just sort of toss some boomerangs where he's going to be and move out of the way. Okay, he keeps hitting me, though. We'll give him one more hit, and then we will power up. Oh, he's dead! Look at his life! Unless he's, like, one of the, these bosses where after you beat him once, he changes form. <laughs> then we might have to use the other power thingy. Okay, we got him. And we got him! Oh, yeah! Oh, of course he has two forms. Of course he does. This form could be easier or harder. The bosses in this game so far have not been that difficult. Ow. Okay. Okay, ow. Oh, I see. Okay. So I think we can just sort of hang back and get this guy. Ow. Um, do we need to use power? No, we don't. Oh, yeah, this guy's going down. Boom! Didn't even need the second uh, power thing, dude. I thought about it, but I was like, no, we're going to man up and just do it the old-fashioned way. Boom. Oh, yeah. There's the CN Tower, by the way, in the background. <laughs> I, I I swear that's the CN Tower, guys. I would not lie to you. Uh, thanks to you, the threat is over. You will receive our highest commendation. Now we must rebuild, but this time we will be more careful and not surrender control to a machine. <laughs> well, good plan, guys. Oh, it gives you the thumbs up, too. Thank you. Oh, we gotta read that in the Arnold, uh, Arnold voice. Thank you. Oh, yeah, sweet. 
Well, we did it. We beat Power Blade, and wow, we had a rocky start. We had like three continues right at the beginning, but then I think we didn't use another continue unless my memory, unless I'm forgetting one. Maybe we did. Maybe we used one more, but um, I had a lot of fun with this game. This is a great NES game. I'd never heard of it. So glad that I stumbled upon it. Uh, I think I just saw it. it. It was, you know, some YouTube channel was reviewing good NES games, and I think it was in the list. I, I forget exactly how I heard of this game. It's a great NES game. If you're looking for a fun one to play, uh, literally over an afternoon, it totally is doable once you have a sense of where to get those ID card guys. But uh, what did you guys think of Power Blade here? Is it a game that you played back in the day? I would love to hear your memories if that is the case. And uh, if you have any tips or tricks on how to play the game better than I did, feel free to mention those down below too. And as always, whatever you think of the game, hopefully today was interesting and entertaining for you. If it was, don't forget to like the video and all that jazz. And other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And from the future Toronto that is clearly featured in this game, this is Gaming J saying peace. No! 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 Oh my god, I suck. Yeah!